After oxygen, water is the most critical element of life on Earth. We simply cannot live without it. In fact, water is the main constituent of the human body. On average, 60 to 70 percent of an adult's body is composed of water. Water is an important nutrient, and during the course of one year, we will typically consume 1,000 liters. This is equivalent to one ton of water that passes through the body. Water is everywhere throughout our body organisms, making up more than 75% of some of our vital organs. However, until recently, there has been little research into the science of healthy hydration. It's interesting that very little research has been done over this area in the past decade or even before. Uh, this is important. It's important because our bodies are 70% water. It's important because water provides the medium for metabolism, for the transport of substances between our cells. Water is important in, in keeping our health and in keeping the functions of the body going, such as body temperature regulation and cardiovascular health. So clearly, when we study the science of water, it's important to everyone on Earth. Water has various roles in our body. It is a fundamental building material for all the cells in the body. Cells are typically 70% water. Water is a fundamental building material for body fluids, such as saliva, gastric secretions and mucus. Body water is also a medium in which important biochemical reactions occur. Water is a solvent for minerals, vitamins, amino acids and other vital substances upon which our body depends. Water transports nutrients to all cells, tissues and organs and carries metabolic waste away to be excreted by the kidneys. Body water, through sweat, enables our organism to cool down. The TRIP study, a collaboration between the University of Montreal and Danone Research, analyzed the absorption, distribution and elimination of water in the body. The TRIP study revealed Water reaches plasma and blood cells within five minutes of ingestion. The average time that water stays in the body is about 10 days. When you drink two liters of water per day, 99% of your body water is replaced within about 50 days. The body's water balance is affected by many factors, not just by what we eat and drink, but also by physical activity and weather conditions, which can impact how much water we lose. Throughout the day, the body continuously loses water through breathing, sweat, urine and feces. Consuming sufficient amounts of water to balance these losses assures adequate hydration of the body. Drinking more water than needed is generally not a cause for concern, because additional water is excreted via the kidneys as urine. However, if water is not replenished regularly and quickly, it can lead to symptoms of mild dehydration, such as dry mouth, fatigue, headaches, and a reduction in mental performance. Longer term, severe dehydration can have very serious detrimental effects on health and well-being. It is important to promote healthy hydration habits, but it's also very important to know what the right advice is. And I think we're in a situation where people are becoming very aware of the question of hydration, but there's a lot of uncertainty about what the correct advice is, and therefore uh, people are often unrealistic about what is needed. Well, I think that in the past, most of our information was really anecdotal and we really didn't have good evidence. So as a result, a lot of people have criticized the concept that eight glasses of water a day is a healthy thing. And I would agree that there has been little evidence. But in the last year, two uh, sort of observational studies, one from Stripoli and one from our group, have shown that there is some good evidence, uh, albeit observational, that 
increased fluid intake actually promotes uh, kidney health and, and slows the decline in kidney function. Um, so we are now starting to get good information. Drinking water regularly and in sufficient quantity throughout the day is all the body needs to maintain a healthy water balance and to maintain healthy hydration. Water has zero calories, zero sugar and no additives. However, worldwide studies of the quantity and quality of fluids that people drink reveal big differences in hydration practices around the world. For example, in Mexico, while water makes up nearly 40% of fluid intake, sweetened beverages make up nearly 30%. And in France, although water makes up more than 50% of fluid intake, despite the European Food Safety Agency recommendations, 70% of the survey population drink less than 2 litres of fluid a day. The fluid intake data gathered, together with the growing scientific evidence about the benefits of healthy hydration, is leading not only to better evidence-based advice for patients and the general public, but also to the revision of national nutritional guidelines and recommendations in many countries. For example, in Mexico and Indonesia. I think during the last few years, if you look in all aspects of hydration, if you look at scientific publications, if you look at uh, policies, uh, I think little by little, key opinion leaders start to pay attention to hydration. And I think they start to get the message that hydration is very important to maintain good health and longevity. The mission of the Hydration for Health initiative is to establish healthy hydration as an integral part of public health, nutritional guidelines and routine patient counselling, so people can make more informed choices. To find out more, visit the website www.h4hinitiative.com So, uh, I think healthy hydration, you see, uh, well, it's very simple. Take care of the amount of water you're drinking. Try, you see, to drink water and limit considerably all the other drinks which are containing sugar. It's very simple. This Emerging Science and Practice of Healthy Hydration video is brought to you by the Hydration for Health Initiative. Visit the website at www.h4hinitiative.com.